Less s is equal to displacement of a particle and let v is equal to velocity of the particle. So let acceleration a okay as acceleration of the particle. So v is actually from the differentiation of the s ds dt and then if we want to find the s from the v we need to integrate the v with respect to t so the process is reverse all right how about a a is equal to changes of velocity with time so dv dt so if let's say we want to obtain the velocity from the acceleration so we need to integrate the acceleration so if the question gives you acceleration you must integrate to find the velocity now let's see example 12 a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O with a velocity of 12 meter per second. The acceleration, okay, A and T seconds after passing through O is given by the A is equal to 4 minus 2T. Determine the instantaneous displacement in meter per second. All right. So when t is 0, velocity is 12. Why? Because it passes through the fixed point O. So at the fixed point O, t is 0. And in order to get the velocity, we need to integrate the acceleration. So let's integrate the acceleration. We will get 4t minus t squared plus c. How to get a c? is we substitute t0 right uh, t0 we will get the velocity is 12 right so we substitute to get a c that means that c is equivalent to 12 right after we got a c equal to 12 we need to write back the velocity in terms of t and the number 12 so it's 4t minus t squared plus 12. That is velocity. From velocity, we need to find the displacement. So what we need to do, of course, we need to integrate the velocity. So if we integrate the velocity, we will get t, integrate 4t minus t squared plus 12 dt. We will get 4t squared over 2 minus t cubed over 3 plus 12t plus c and then because particle passes through the fixed point o meaning that t0 is 0 so we need to substitute into the displacement to get the c when t equal to 0 so we found out that c is equal to 0 right we have to uh, uh, very sure that c is 0 make sure the particle is start from the fixed point then c will be 0 all right then after that we will rewrite again the displacement in terms of the t need to find the displacement when t equal to 3 so we substitute 3 into the displacement so we solve the displacement the s is 45 meter okay so we need to do step by step okay so when t equal to 3 the displacement is 45 meter now let's discuss number two we need to find the time when the particle is at rest when particle is at rest meaning that it is stopped so the velocity is equal to zero so we will factorize and find the time when the velocity equal to zero what is the time so let's factorize so we have two values of t so t minus 6 and 
The other one is uh, negative. So we will reject the negative because it's impossible we have negative value four times, right? So the answer is t equal to 6 because t must be more than or equal 0, okay? So let's proceed to b. Uh, next, we need to find the distance in meter traveled by the particle in the seventh second distance. So it is not displacement, it is a distance. So we need to be very careful. But then we still have to use a displacement formula. So at the seventh second, we will find the displacement. We substitute into the displacement function. We get answer 203 over 3 or 6, 8, 7, 2 third meter. So let me show you at the t equal to 0, where is the particle? The particle is at the fixed point, right? At t equal to 7, the particle moved to the right with the displacement is 67 2 third. So let's show how the particle move. Okay, from the fixed point O, particle travel to the 72 meter. There's a displacement at the t equal to 6, right? And then at t equal to 6, particle is at rest. That is a displacement at the 6 second. And then you notice that at the t, uh, t equal to 7, the displacement is nearer to the fixed point, right? It seems like the particle is go nearer to the fixed point O. So that means at that particular second, the 7 second, the particle is actually travel the distance uh, 72 minus 6, 7, 2 third. Alright, so that is actually 4, 1 third meter. That is the distance travel in the 7th second. So be careful when you do question like this. You need to actually sketch the uh, line number and study the movement of the particle so that you won't make a mistake for the distance travel by the particle in the 7 second. So uh, normally we always spend uh, time to uh, draw the, and sketch the movement of the particle from the starting point to the time whereby the particle stop and then to the time that the question asking for the distance. All right? So let's have a look of another example. So this is actually uh, another concept whereby uh, Sn minus Sn minus 1 is actually uh, the distance in the n second. So you can use uh, this formula to help you to solve the problem. Now let's have a look of the example 10. So a particle start from a fixed point O and moves along a straight line. After t seconds, its displacement s meter is given by s equal to t cubed minus 3 t square minus 4 t. Calculate the initial acceleration in meter per second of the particle. So initial means t0. So we need to find the acceleration, so we need to find the velocity by differentiate the ds dt and then we need to uh, differentiate the velocity to get the a. So a is dv dt. So uh, let's uh, find the v first. v is ds dt, so we differentiate, we get 3t squared minus uh, 6t minus 4. That is velocity. Now from the velocity, we will differentiate. So it's dv dt. So if we differentiate, we will get 6t minus 6. That is acceleration. Then only we will substitute. Initial acceleration means a time equal to 0. 
So when times equal to zero, what is the acceleration? That is the answer for A. The A is 6 times 0 minus 6, which is negative 6, right? Uh, negative 6 meter per second per second, which is deceleration. For B, the instantaneous acceleration of the particle at 5 seconds. So now we will use T equal to 5. And then we substitute into the acceleration function, which is 6T minus 6. So it will become 6 times 5 minus 6. So it's 30 minus 6. So the answer is... 6 times 5 minus 6. So we will get 30 minus 6, which is actually 24 meter per second per second. Alright, so let's proceed to see the acceleration of the particle in meter per second when it passes through point O. Passes through point O again, again. When you see again means you go back to the original point. So that means S equal to zero. So by letting S equal to zero, we will actually factorize the cubic okay, equation. So we factorize the T. So we get T squared minus 3T minus 4 equal to zero. And we will factorize a quadratic function a quadratic equation, then we get the time, which is t equal to 4, right? So the negative and 0, we will reject because of the again. So we ignore the negative answer. So when the particle passes through point O again, we will choose a t, which is positive, and we substitute into the acceleration function to get the answer for the acceleration, which is 6 times with the t minus 6. So the answer is 6 times 4 minus 6. So the answer is 18 meter per second per second, right? So let's proceed to d. Use of t in seconds when the acceleration of the particle is positive. So when we see positive, it's always greater than zero. So let's uh, let A greater than zero. So if A greater than zero, that means 6T minus 6 will be more than zero. That means uh, 6T will be more than six, right? So if we solve it, we will get the answer for the uh, range of the T. So the T is actually more than uh, one second, 60 more than six. So T will be more than one. So when you have T more than one, that is so-called range of the time. Okay, when acceleration is positive, all right? So let's proceed to the self-practice or self-exercise 8.6. A particle moves along a straight line and passes through fixed point O velocity of 10 meter per second so the acceleration a meter per second at t seconds after passing through a fixed point o is given by 40 minus 8 fine now let's uh, find the instantaneous velocity so we need to integrate the acceleration to get the velocity so the answer for velocity is 40 square over 2 minus 8t plus c. So, but if you read the question, the particle passes through fixed point O, meaning that when t is 0, the velocity is actually 10 meter per second. So, if we substitute, we will get the c is 10 meter per second. So, hence, we need to rewrite again the velocity function before we can substitute the time uh, which is 4 second t equal to 4 to find the velocity okay for the particle at the 4 second okay so for minimum velocity we have to let a equal to 0 to find the time first so dv dt equal to 0 that means the time equal to 2 then only we will substitute into the 
velocity function for the t equal to 2 and we will solve the answer for the velocity minimum is equal to 2. Now let's proceed to question number 2. A particle moves from a fixed point O on a straight line with an initial velocity of 2 meter per second. Its acceleration a meter per second at t seconds after passing through point O is given by a equal to 4 minus 6t. So again, we need to uh, integrate the acceleration to get the velocity. And the c is actually uh, equal to 0 because when t equal to 0, the velocity is equal to 2. So let's write again, the velocity is 4t minus 3t squared plus 2. Hence, we will substitute the t equal to 3 to find the instantaneous velocity. It's equal to negative 13 meter per second. Let's do b when a is negative 8. We need to find the time when the uh, acceleration is negative 8. So let's solve the time. The time is equal to 2. So let's substitute t equal to 2 into the velocity function and the velocity is negative 2 meter per second. Now let's see question number 3. A particle moves along a straight line at t second after passing a fixed point O. Its acceleration a meter per second per second is given by a equal to 6t minus 24. So first thing we need to integrate the acceleration to get the velocity Alright, so we will substitute velocity which is 36 when t equal to 0. That means the c will be equal to 36. Alright, so let's uh, write again the velocity in terms of the t which is 3t squared minus 24t plus 36. So the range of the t when the particle is negative meaning that we have to uh, let the v less than 0 and we need to factorize. So for b, when dv dt equal to 0, you let uh, acceleration equal to 0. Minimum means a equal to 0. So you solve the t equal to 4 and you substitute into the velocity function to get the velocity. So the v is negative 12 meter per second. Now let's proceed to the next question. For stitching pattern on the thread edge of a headgear is done by sewing machine. The initial velocity of the sewing machine is 20 cm per second. The acceleration in cm per second is given by a equal to 8 minus 2t where t is the time in second after passing through a fold. Calculate the instantaneous velocity of the sewing in centimeter per second at the second second. So let's uh, start with the acceleration which is 8 minus 2t. We need to integrate the acceleration to get the velocity. So velocity is v equal to 8t minus t squared plus c. So when t equal to 0, we substitute t equal to 0. The c is 20. So we have to write again the velocity function in terms of the t, which is 8t minus t squared plus 20. And then with that velocity, we can substitute t equal to 2 to get the answer velocity equal to 32 meter per second. For b, when acceleration equal to 0, we need to let a equal to 0 and find the t. So the t is 4. With t equal to 4, we will substitute into the velocity function to find the velocity for the a sewing machine. So the V is 36 cm per second. For C, the time in second. 
of the showing when the acceleration is 5 cm per second per second. So for the acceleration is 5, we need to solve to find the time. So the time is 1.5 second. For D, we need to substitute velocity equal to 11 into the velocity function and we will rearrange in a quadratic equation. And we just factorize and solve the quadratic equation. So we get time which is equal to 9 seconds and the one which is negative we will reject. So that is how we solve. The time is 9 after we factorize the quadratic equation, the time is 9 and the time which is positive is the answer. So uh, please remember to reject the time which is negative 1. Alright, so that is how we solve the time. Alright, so that's all my sharing for today's lesson. Till then, bye-bye and have a nice day.